Hello, brothers and sisters. Pastor Danny here, Oceanside United Reformed Church, uh, welcoming you once again and finally to our uh, final Holy Week devotion here uh, in this week before Easter or Resurrection Sunday. Uh, it's Easter Eve uh, or Saturday, uh, April the 3rd. Uh, let's begin together with uh, the two prayers that we've been using throughout this season. Uh, and then also a couple of Bible verses, uh, passages to read for a quick devotion to set our hearts right uh, that Jesus came for sinners like you and me to bring us to salvation. Let's pray. Grant, O Lord, that as we are baptized into the death of your blessed Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, so by continual mortifying our corrupt affections, we may be buried with him, and that through the grave, the gate of death, we may pass to our joyful resurrection for his merits, who died and was buried and rose again for us, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and all of God's people say, Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who hates nothing that you have made and forgives the sins of all those that are penitent, create and make in us new and contrite hearts that we, worthily lament lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may obtain of you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and all of God's people say, Amen. Uh, Easter Eve, the day before Easter, uh, this holy Saturday, uh, in tradition is uh, the evening of baptisms, and so that's why we prayed uh, that we have been baptized into Christ. And so our text, uh, our beginning text, uh, speaks as well uh, of baptism. So 1 Peter chapter number 3, verses 17 through 22. For it is better, if the will of God be so, that ye suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison, which sometime were disobedient, when once the long-suffering of God waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was a preparing, wherein few that is eight souls were saved by water. The like figure whereunto even baptism doth also now save us, not the putting away of the filth of the flesh, but the answer of a good conscience towards God, by the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven, and is on the right hand of God, angels and authorities and powers being made subject unto him. Thanks be to God. And finally, our last reading for this holy week is St. Matthew's Gospel 27, 57 through 66. When the even was come, there came a rich man of Arimathea named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus, and Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had taken the body, he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth and laid it on a new tomb, which had he had hewn out in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulcher and departed. And there was Mary Magdalene and the other Mary sitting over against the sepulcher. Now the, day, then, now the next day that, that followed the day of the preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that this deceiver said, while he was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. Command therefore that the sepulcher be made sure unto the third day lest his disciples come by night and steal him away, and say unto the people, He is risen from the dead, so the last error shall be worse than the first. Pilate said unto them, Ye have a watch, go your way, make it as sure as ye can. So they went and made the sepulchre sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, O Christ. Holy Saturday, uh, or Easter, the eve of Easter, Easter Eve, uh, is a day again that we traditionally, uh, Christians have been baptized uh, in anticipation of the Resurrection Day, uh, Sunday morning. Uh, these readings remind us that uh, our Lord was buried, uh, and that when we are baptized, we are buried with Christ. We go into his death. We identify uh, with his death. And that when he died and he was buried and he was laid there, our sins were laid there too. So that when he rose again on that glorious Easter Sunday, uh, that our sins would be left behind. And that our 
souls, our bodies, our whole person will be redeemed and liberated from our sins and led into the very presence of God. And let's give thanks this year. Thanks this year that God has looked upon us in such mercy and grace to give his only son for us and that we have been identified with his son and that we are blessed and privileged to identify with his suffering and death, but greatly his resurrection. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this week. We, th we pray that you would prepare our hearts to uh, hear that great message that uh, the tomb is empty. Jesus Christ is conquered. Hear us, receive us, and bless us, we ask in Jesus' name. And all of God's people say, Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. I invite you to join us uh, Easter Sunday, tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock, uh, at the chapel of the Army-Navy Academy, just on the border of Oceanside and Carlsbad, to hear the gospel, to receive the Lord's Supper, to sing, to pray, to fellowship with Christ's resurrected and made new disciples. May the Lord bless you, and we look forward to seeing you.